Hi there and welcome back guys. This is Thoughtful Gaming's Immanuel Can with another Wizardry 8 character building guide, this time for a rather unusual to take class. We're going to go for Psionic. Now, what's the group role of the Psionic? The Psionic has access to all kinds of mental spells. He's also fearless and has the mental condition immunity, which is pretty helpful and which also means you don't need a high mental resistance with him. And uh, yeah, what is the group role? It's like definitely crowd control and it's debuffs and damage and you can also cure with him some and you have some handy buffs like haste that are pretty good. So uh, this would be your group role and now we'll have the primary attributes. Now you have senses here. Senses is not high on the priority list even though it's a primary attribute here for the psionic. I wouldn't place it high. Senses is basically a skill that improves your initiative but in the final iterations it's good for critical strike and it's good for ranged combat. It's not that good for casting. Which is why you should first put all your points in intelligence, then in speed, because it increases your initiative even more, then in piety, because it increases your spell points, and then in vitality, because yeah, it improves your hit points. And after that you can go for senses. Senses is pretty useful then, but yeah, it's, it's kind of an overkill when going for initiative, usually. You would rather have some more hit points, or at least I would have. Like it's arguable if you want to take vitality or senses first, but I think vitality is a little stronger, so I go that first. And after that I'll go for senses. So what races are good for the psionic? Um, as you have the mental condition immunity, a human would be a good choice for a psionic. You have okay bonus points and uh, yeah, you have like average attributes, you have a pretty good character with that. You don't have good resistances, but that's okay for the mental condition immunity. Uh, really helps with the uh, one some of the nastiest spells. So like you won't go insane. You won't be turned coated. So uh, that will help much, and you're fearless as well. So that's really good. And now human would be a good choice. An even better choice, I think, would be an elf, as you already have high intelligence and high piety, and you have good uh, bonus points, and you have air resistance as well. Well, the 20 mental resistance aren't like that important, because you have the mental condition immunity. So, uh, Gnome would also be a great choice. As you see here, you have even more bonus points. You have a little bit less piety with a gnome, a little bit less speed, but the whole package is okay. And uh, you have some uh, earth resistance now. Of course you can also go for the fairy, which has uh, magic power recovery, which is pretty handy. And you don't have access to good equipment as a psionic, so um, the unusual starting equipment and the generally restricted equipment uh, access for fairies doesn't play a big role so a fairy psionic would be all okay and of course you can also go for the hobbit uh, because yeah you don't need really need mental resistance and the hobbit has pretty good uh, overall attributes so it would be the same as the human a hobbit would also be a good choice. My favorite, though, would be a gnome. Or, yeah, a gnome or probably an elf. And you can you can still go for choices like the furries. Because a psionic is uh, like a, that, a specialized class, and specialized classes level pretty quickly. So you have the free choice, but you, you will have a little bit... Uh, yeah, an improved psionic if you take uh, a race like gnome or a fairy or a hobbit or a human, because you have the higher bonus points and the better better distributed primary attributes for your 
profession. Now, what should we take? Let's let's now just take a gnome psionic. Let's make him male. Uh, I usually, for caster classes, I take male because uh, all the other classes need lots of stamina, and uh, I prefer to take females for that for their um, better equipment at the start with stamina regeneration on it. So I'll take for the pure caster classes I'll take always males and uh, yeah you would go for intelligence here for speed and for piety to maximize your spell points still have good vitality that will go after you have maxed intelligence speed and piety max vitality then max senses so what spells should you take at the start? Now, if you don't need anyone who does damage, if you have the psionic just for control, which is his most effective role, then you should definitely go for something like terror and sleep. And uh, heal wounds is always handy. And directly at the start, I would probably go for terror and heal wounds. It will be a good choice. There are not that many heal wounds uh, books at the start of the game so uh, yeah have one guy have heal wounds is pretty pretty good and heal wounds also gives you an opportunity to practice your spell casting quite often as you will get wounded in the monastery a lot so we'll take these skills and then to boot uh, for the for the skills Always take psionics, that's just a no-brainer. Always max your psionics as a psionic. And uh, next you should, depending on your group, you see you already have mythology and communication points. Mythology and communication are both heavily controlled by intelligence and also by senses, which the psionic already has. So if you have no ranger taking the mythology route or no bard for communication, then you can go put all your points in there and raise the other spell uh, schools just by practice. That would, will also be absolutely okay, as you will be casting spells when you have spell points, and then they will rise on their own, basically. And uh, you can make him a quality of life caster for a while. So, um, but for this case, let's just assume you have a ranger and a bard, and these are taken care for, then just take mental magic, because we have taken a terror here, which is a mental magic spell, and take divine magic some points, because we've taken heal, which is, uh, yeah, which is a divine magic spell. Um, you should avoid combat skills with a psionic, and, uh, yeah, we'll have someone who looks like Dr. Snuggles here. Uh, and now we'll, we'll have our, our psionic here. And uh, now, hmm, let's review the psionic. What starting equipment does he have? He's got a dagger. You should replace the dagger as soon as you can with a quarter staff if you want that, and you can have throwing and sling uh, with a with a uh, psionic. Take a sling and some and some bullet stones, and it will be okay. You have robes there, and all of that screams like, "Don't put me in the front line. Put me in the back line." And that's what you should do, as you don't get many hit points as well. Put him in the back line, and let him cast spells. Now, how would you? What spells would you go for first in the combat situation? Probably first go for buffs for the party if you have. Uh, then after that go for some controlling of the enemies and after that you damage, you're damaging the, the enemies. And yeah, that would be the right order or a logical order. But of course every combat is different and you're probably better off to judge for yourself what to do. Now for the roster position here, 
um, you should put your psionic just there in the middle because at the start there are, would be mostly uh, priest or um, wizardry casters because they have the strongest buffs and in the middle you would have uh, the psionic for some buffs, debuffs and crowd control spells. So that would be the roster position. So uh, have fun with your new psionic, in this case a gnome psionic, and uh, yeah, use a psionic well. The, the psionic is generally not a class many people take because he can be a bit odd to play, but you, you have some great damage spells and you have absolutely incredible crowd control with a psionic. So have fun with your psionic and uh, yeah. Uh, please come back and watch again. Some Wizardry 8 Let's Play or guide will be there for you. So, uh, happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Kahn, signing out.